Welcome to another episode of Investment Chart in a Rolls Royce. And today I have Victoria at Tropo Chava. Am I right? <laughs> Almost right. Tropachoa. <laughs> Tropachoa. <laughs> Okay, she's a Russian blogger and fashion uh, entrepreneur, and we're going to be having a fantastic conversation today. And so, of course, welcome to another awesome episode of Investment Chat in the Rosaries. So, I, I saw one of your pictures during Christmas in Russia, and it was so beautiful. Yeah, really? Thank Tell you. Tell me about your experience. <laughs> Uh, actually, my experience uh, is wonderful. I so like Russia, so I'm uh, trying to visit Russia almost three, four times per year. Okay. In Christmas, it's uh, every time you go to Russia, you can enjoy music, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Like really, I miss it a lot uh, in Whoa. Dubai. Wow, awesome. <laughs> when did you move to Dubai and uh, how has it been since you've been here? Yeah, it's uh, almost four years I'm okay. living in Dubai. Yeah. Uh, I moved, I think, in 2016. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'm so grateful that <laughs> I did it. <laughs> okay. Because I, I really love Dubai. Yeah. It's a very beautiful country. Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to show in my blog uh, yeah. many activities in Emirates yes. and in Dubai what you can do, uh, the best place you can visit, mm -hmm. beautiful restaurants, yeah. beautiful beaches. Yeah. I honestly like in Dubai everything. Because uh, for me, honestly, this is the best city. <laughs> So we started this show because we wanted to help um, a lot of people all over the world to understand the back end to wealth and luxury. You know, a lot of times you see people that are wealthy, you admire them. Some people even hate them, but you don't even know what they're doing. You don't know the hard work that goes into wealth, wealth creation. And um, suddenly, you know, everybody hates wealthy people. And so we felt that this show would give you different perspective when interviewing business owners from all over the world, investors from all over the world, doing different types of investment, doing different type of stuff. That way you have a good perspective as to what is investment, why investment, what types of investment, how do you build wealth in the long run. So our goal for the show is number one, to raise more millionaires and possibly billionaires by learning from the ones that we've hosted on the show. And that just opened them up. In fact, a lot of questions I ask are some of from critical people. For example, some someone like me who grew up from zero to where I am. There are some things I need to start doing at this level um, that I have not done. And the kind of guests I bring a lot of times are even people that I need. Like um, on today's show, the first guest was a top financial expert, which shares, you know, help you to glue all your types of investment across all the countries of the world, help you to understand uh, tax issues and, and insurance and all of that. So these are some of, for, so for this show, we're hoping that a lot of wealthy people we met because now you understand the pathway, the principles and the processes that got a lot of my guests to where they are. So we hope that, you know, we will also we hope that this show will encourage billionaires in Africa to share more of their stories. Because for whatever reason, you hardly find uh, an hotel dollar in Dangote who I hope to host on my show, Tony Lumelu. Uh, who this, these are billionaires from my country and they hardly um, do shows where they just go down into how they started their stories, the rough days, the humble days. Um, it's almost more like as people get up there, nobody knows how they started. And, and that's sometimes why there's so much hatred and animosity because people then don't understand what got people here and people don't even understand the sacrifices that were made. And so the perspective is just, he's rich. Uh, let's extort him, right? Because they just don't even get it. Also, people don't even know 
the current benefit of a billionaire, right? For example, if somebody is a billionaire in a nation, he is creating jobs. Don't you get that, right? If you are, if you don't understand the impact of people, business on a nation, NSAS is an example. Or let me give you another example. During the lockdown, the billionaire guys, for those of you in Nigeria, you remember how some guys came billionaires, uh, thieves or one million boys sorry, sorry and these guys were going to rob houses that's what happens when there's no job anarchy chaos when you look at some of us going on in some part of africa it's because there's no job so you need billionaires you know to create jobs you, so you need to teach people the mindset entrepreneurial mindset the principles of starting their business and and becoming wealthy so these are some of what was in our heart um doing this show to impact lives my name is steven akinta i am known as africa's south africa as my coach i started 13 years ago as an entrepreneur and knowing nothing um, but having the guts <laughs> and of course wanting to be wealthy as i was born from a poor family my mother was a civil servant. My father's business had crumbled before I was born. But I knew that we could be wealthy. But something changed my life. At the age of 17, I started reading book on money. And I got to know that I can be wealthy. It's possible. I started the first wealth university. By the time you're done with it, you can literally start your own business or be able to learn how to invest in a business and make money for yourself. I'd like you to sign up today in www.stevenakitayuniversity.com. GTEx Home is a brand with vision of having the largest green and smart estate with innovation and technology. The vision has given birth to Jasper Gardenia along the coastline of Ibejuleki, Lagos. The first green and smart affordable estate. Now, Jasper Estate is just 10 minutes away from Dangote Refinery and it's just opposite the Lekki Golf Course. And guess what? The title is Gizet. Now, you can get a property here, here because here, my friend, is the future. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. Uh, how did you become a blogger? Did you go to a school or you just pick it up as a culture? No, I just pick it up. Uh, I started my Instagram in 2014. Wow. But of course, first two years I had around maybe 1,000 followers yeah. only. <laughs> <laughs> now it's True. much bigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but uh, I increased my followers in yeah. Dubai when okay. I moved to Dubai. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's awesome. So tell us about your fashion business. Um, what's that about? What's unique about your fashion style? Actually, uh, uh, me and my friend Chislava, uh, we opened a uh, bold fashion house. Okay. Uh, it is online boutique. Uh, okay. Right now, it's only in Instagram. Okay. But we are working on the website as oh, well. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. We are trying to do some uh, unique and chic uh, uh, dresses. Okay. Is this one of yeah, yours? Yeah, this oh, one. Nice. <laughs> this is actually a handcrafted dress. Wow. Yeah, so we created it in Russia. Russia and okay. we are using only best quality so it's a France Italy and Russians fabric Wow so like an average of how much does this cost uh, this one 2,500 okay uh, yeah because Durams. yeah there's how much in dollars uh, uh, in dollars it's almost uh, 800 dollars <laughs> yeah I think 800 dollars yeah. okay so that's 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 fair for me I realized that conversation around finance investment wealth creations are always boring <laughs> right particularly to the youth um but young people love luxury right um everybody loves luxury and the fin amazing thing is why not have a show where we're showing literally attracting people with the luxury but the substance is a deep conversation so uh it's the same model they use for drugs right they coat the drug with something sugary but the real drug itself is not that it's bitter so for us is 
you see the luxury but you hear the bitter truth about the fact that building wealth there is no shortcut to it and hopefully um, this you know then gets interesting hopefully this then build a new um, world of people who are thinking investment who are thinking wealth. for example there's so much income inequality there's so much anger in the world about wealth creation about you know the gap between the rich and the poor unfortunately the knowledge gap is still wider so until the poor knows what the rich knows they will remain poor which is that asset okay brings more wealth liability takes away wealth which is producers will be rich consumers will be poor and that is until you start producing some value that you can exchange for cash you're going to remain poor for a long term this message is not out there it's not in the mainstream media and that's why a lot more people are remaining poor the more we're able to have conversation about financial intelligence and make it go mainstream the the wealthier people we're going to create the richer the world will be the more we create jobs the more people are rich and then the better society that we have so for me this is a global vision to empower lives and change stories and that's why we started this show and that's why we started the concept we feel the rose royce concept will attract more people and make the conversation about financial intelligence to become mainstream as we have opened um our dubai office we want you know the africa to to know about business opportunity in the arab gulf and then we of course want to bring africa to uae so it's a measure that i'm hoping we'll achieve and that's why we decided to stream or shoot season two of this show here in dubai arab and africa is the future of the world you look at the arable land is in africa you look at investment opportunities in the arab gulf and tourism is moving to uh, to the arabian countries you know uh, globally uh, so there's a lot the arab world and africa has to offer the world and the earlier we merge these two you know together and we're able to you know offer what we have to the world the better so we're hoping that in the next coming months uh, africa will meet the Arabian countries and the Arabian countries we know more about Africa. So let's have some unique marriage in business, in entrepreneurship, in investment. That's what we're hoping that we we'll achieve in the next coming months. Season two is definitely loaded with a lot of amazing guests, um, global guests. And so for us, season two is taking the show global. I don't know, somebody has said maybe season three will be in the US or in the UK. And then, you know, but yeah, the truth is that the show has gone global and we want to be able to have the world meet Africa and Africa meet the world. G-Text Homes, a subsidiary of G-Text Global, brought to you by Stephen McIntyre. And is bringing you Jasper Estate. It is located along the urban area of Ibeju, Lake, Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> this is just luxury at the tip of your fingers, which is 12 minutes drive from the Dlaka Pine Tropicana. It's 15 minutes from Dangote Refinery. And it's 5 minutes to Lekki Town. 2 minutes from Stone Beach Resort. It is just adjacent to the Dangote Jetty. And if you're one that likes to travel down memory lane and be in tune with the relics, Awolo Museum is 5 minutes away. It is barely 11 minutes from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Pick up that phone, dial that number, send that WhatsApp message to the number on your screen and secure your slot today. Also available in Abuja. GTEx Homes. We don't just sell properties. We help you build your future. So I was born into a very poor family. My mother was a civil servant and I will always recall how we used to go to neighbors to borrow money to send me to school and my siblings. There's just something about poverty that is not attractive. I, of course, read my first book on money at the age of 18, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I started my business 13 years ago with just 8,000 naira. 
have grown to become a multi-billionaire corporation today. The habits that I learned from those books are the ones that I've practiced in the last 13 years that has helped me to build the empire that we've built today is what is loaded in the books. And some other role models of mine who are billionaires, what I've noticed about their habits and see you at the top with your testimony of how the book has changed your life. The Billionaire Habit, authored by Stephen Akintayo. <laughs>
right? The banks handle all the payments, right? Uh, a company here got a billion dirhams, you know, facility from the bank to build. That's how they do it. The bank released the money here in Dubai. Once you get a customer to pay 20% for the property you are developing, the bank will release the entire money to you, right? So the bank and the customer face the rest. You ain't seen that in Africa. But we've been able to struggle over all that and God has still given us victory. We're building uh, uh, 1,000 housing units in the year 2021. Um, by the year 2035, we're going to be having over 25,000 housing units in Africa alone, and more than 200 estates. So God is our strength. We're working hard, and uh, we have a fantastic team. I can't be more proud than uh, our team are just amazing, hardworking people. And then uh, recently added a um, um, team here in Dubai to our team, and they are learning a lot. <laughs> how to keep up with my energy. So we have a great team, so nothing can stop us. The real estate sector in Dubai is well developed. Um, of course, some challenges in terms of the economy hasn't been doing well in time past, but it's picking up. There's a lot of good news. Uh, the government is now offering citizenship to investors and, you know, and other high uh, priority skills. Also, Dubai has become the best place to visit in winter. So more, we're in winter now and people are coming in. Uh, more importantly also is the fact that Dubai has worked hard on COVID-19. The vaccine is being wrapped up. I've taken the first shot. So in the uh, next one or two weeks, I'm going to take my second shot. So there's a lot that Dubai has done in terms of that. And for us, we're new. So we're starting with, we started with property brokerage. We've partnered with Shoba, with Emma, with um, Tiger. And we're also into property management. We're also into, you know, event, uh, media events, uh, media event generally, and of course, organizing carnivals and things like that. So uh, the real estate sector has, has worked very well for us because we have built a reputation, even as a developer. So. Um, the, the the industry opened up. I mean, we we started selling on our first month. I mean, that's rare. Uh, when you come into a new country or a new market, it takes you a couple of months and you're not even selling. But we have already started selling, so we're doing well. <laughs> I would like you to share with me, with me what do you think about real estate investment? Uh, honestly, I think now is the best time to invest in Dubai because yeah. especially after COVID-19, yeah. prices dropped. True. And uh, even myself, I'm thinking to buy apartment now nice. because uh, Dubai is a wonderful city. Yeah. yeah so like, uh, even though if you don't want to live in Dubai, mm -hmm. uh, you can keep it on rent uh, and uh, really good, yeah. very good investment. You, you're from <laughs> Russia. I saw one of you, you were in Russia on Christmas for Christmas, right? Yeah. So w what's the real estate market in Russia like? Real estate market, uh, it's really good. But for me, I prefer, for example, uh, if I'm going to buy apartment, yeah. I will go for Dubai. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so between um, residential apartment, uh, you know, that you're, you're buying at a house so that you can rent it out and make some money, and luxury apartment, you know, or just a normal villa that is not necessarily luxury, which one do you prefer? Uh, actually, I will go with two options. Okay. So uh, I will buy an apartment or villa for myself to okay. live here and enjoy Dubai, of course. Yeah. And uh, I will go with investment. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's a good one. So thank you again for watching another awesome episode of the Investment Chart in the Rolls Royce. Here from Tiger, our head office, we say love you and see you next week. Don't miss the next episode. Bye bye from bye -bye. us. Bye <laughs> bye.